This video is for English 122 with Dr. Russo and we're going to start at the library homepage. You'll remember from class that I told you if you came up to the URL and took off library home and put Russo, this will take you to the guide that we made for class. We want to go to the second tab. The first thing that we want to look at is CQ Researcher. This is a pro-con database which will show you both sides of an issue. And again, we talked about browsing topics in case you don't know what topic you want or maybe you need to pick a topic that your professor has not already read 20 different times. All right, so this time we're going to go into education just for the sake of example. And I'm going to go into bilingual and multicultural education. These that have the red next to them, short report, um, be sure that you check the date to make sure that it is up to date. You don't want something that's too old. Also, um, these that do not have the red one, they have longer reports. So we're going to take a look at them this time. On a full report, we have an introduction. This gives us background information, general overview of it, because we probably don't know very much about the topic. Even if we think we do, there's always more to learn. Overview is going to show us what the big overarching issues are and why this is a pro and con issue. The background is very important if we don't know the history of our topic, and most of the time we don't. Um, we'll be surprised at how far back that background will go. So you do want to make sure that you read the background because you can't write effectively about a current event if you don't know the background behind it. Current situation is going to tell you who the big players are right now. So obviously we've got President Trump in here. We also have the National Council of La Raza, which is a Latino advocacy group. So these give you some names that you might need to um, look up or find more information about in order to see what the current situation is. The Outlook's going to hopefully give us some ideas for solutions. So you might look at those and see if you think any of those solutions are viable. The pro-con really helps you see the different ar arguments behind this. So while we have looked at the major question of do immigrants help spur economic growth, the pro and con is actually written on this question. Will limiting illegal immigration protect U.S. economic interests? And so we have one writer that's writing the pro for that, one that is writing the con article for that, and these are basically editorial type articles like you might find in a newspaper and they will um, give you different points of argument for either side and then you can see kind of where you fall with that. The chronology is going to give you dates so you know how far back this goes and it might be surprising to you that this goes back to the 1600s but that's important to know if you're going to write about a current event. Um, short features there are some more articles, maps and graphs. Those are things that you could use in a PowerPoint. Just make sure you cite them. The information is there for you and a bibliography for more reading. So these are the major points of a long full report. I encourage you to take a look at this. If you want to get the citation in an MLA, of course, you click on Cite Now, click MLA. Remember, it's your responsibility as the student to make sure that the citation is right. And you can, can email the entire article to yourself. You can put your email address as the sender and the receiver and give yourself a little message there if you want to. Click send email and it will send you the entire article. So I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have more questions, please feel free to contact us at the Cannon Memorial Library.